you can build up them physically, then it aids in helping them with those other skills that they're going to need. So now there are four domains identified in the brain, language, physical, which includes gross motor and fine motor, cognitive, and social emotional. Physical development is a huge part of learning and they all connect with one another. And we try to connect them all. Most activities, they're actually using all four domains. The obstacle course falls in line with our domains that we use here. The physical, obviously. Um, language them and cognitive listening to me and following those directions. Well, young children need to be able to move. Our classroom teachers might have the children get up and do some, some sort of jumping around. We make sure we're offering movement um, every day. Fine motor wise, we're working on um, strengthening their fine motor so they can hold a pencil and write for extended periods and cut. Each week I do a different activity, I'm usually starting at the beginning of the year with the, the easiest or most basic of the skills, which is probably hopping. I think it's very important to have structured so they can learn things and then the free play so they can act it out later and it just helps them take their play to a whole nother level. I've seen kids reenact what we did on the playground and it's really cute. Children need at least an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon for absolute free play. And that's a, a good time for observation for teachers. We can see how children interact with one another. I communicate with my parents several times a week. I let them know at the beginning of the week what we're going to be doing and working on. So it's been very helpful for the parents so they can do it at home as well. You can tie in something physical to almost any activity you're doing in the classroom. And we do various things. I do obstacle courses. We play games. I bring books to life, so we, we act out books. They love going down the hall, bear crawling, crab walking, that kind of thing. Because all the domains are so closely connected and we are feeding them all of the activities that are here in the classroom for their um, fine motor abilities and their cognitive skills will need to transfer to movement. Being physical is something that almost every age you need to do.